first Let's Play of Glover. Uh, I've grown up with this game as a kid, and it just stuck to me. And, oh man, it, I'm just so nervous, you know? It's my first Let's Play. I hope to get some viewers. I mean, my goals aren't so high, but, you know, hey, whatever. Um, so I guess we're going to proceed to the uh, menu screen here. Alright. Start a new game. Uh, here we got my uh, practice file here I've been working on. Um, Alright, so I guess I'll just start this one. Alright, and uh, for just the sake of uh, organization, I'm going to call it LP1. Okay. Alright, we're going to play on normal difficulty here. Alright, so here we go. We got the castle. Got some crystals on top of it. So let's go, on a, let's go inside, see what happens. Alright, so here we go. We got a wizard. We got Dumbledore here. Throwing some potions in a uh, cauldron. Oh. Uh oh, what's going on? The cauldron's shaking. That's never a good sign. Boom! Oh! Oh, look at that. He falls to the floor. An accident. Like one glove flies into the pot, one flies out the window screaming. <laughs> this game is so funny. Oh, God. Uh oh. What's going on? The crystals. No, they're flying away. Glover. Oh, using some magic. Oh, turns them into rubber balls and they go rolling away. Go rolling into different areas. Oh, and that's Glover. Bam. Aw. Oh. Ball just hit him in the face. Now, here's the enemy. Cross stick. Anti Glover. Oh, man. So, here we go. We're going to get started with a little bit of uh, play here. Uh, the world is very red right now. But that's because all the crystals are gone. As we get more and more crystals in the game, back to their uh, resting place. We're going to, uh, the, the world will turn much brighter and back to normal. So, uh, here we go. I am the glove. You see right here. You can, it, I'm just going to, uh, guide you around here. Okay, so this game has six worlds that you have to complete. This is Atlantis. This is the first one we're going to be doing. Um, I'll cover that in a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to move over here to the second world. Uh, it is a circus. Uh, so that's the second world we're going to be doing. Uh, circus is a pretty crazy world. Probably one of my favorite worlds. Um, Alright, so we're going to go over here to the next world. Alright, so over here is prehistoric. Now, I don't know why they made the shape of the world a log. A stump, I mean. But uh, regardless, we're going to be tackling that world eventually. Okay, so we're moving on along. Uh, okay, over here is space. Um, I just I'm gonna say right now it's the last levels of the game, and they're kind of challenging to be honest. So I mean, it's not gonna be an easy go through at all. Okay, so uh, here we're moving along here. All right, so here we got the scary level. Uh, we're going to be taking care of that later. Um, oh, look at this. This was once a lake, but now there's no water in it because it cross-stitched the meanie. Okay, and here is pirate land. Uh, treasure chest. We'll take care of that later, too. Alright, so now with this ball that I have right here, I have to take it inside, uh, right here. So basically, every time you complete a world, you have to bring the ball from that world back here to the statue, and uh, it'll turn into a crystal and go back in one of these holes. Uh, there's seven of them in all, and this is the first one we just did. And now that we did that, the first world, which is Atlantis, is open to us. So we are going yeah, we are going to take care of that right now. I'm pretty sure I'll get the first world done in this video. Uh, but anyway, about my 
LPs, um, since I'm very new to them, I am open to suggestions. Uh, if you have any idea on how I can make an LP better, that would be some great and some good advice. So anyway, here we go into the first world, uh, first level of Atlantis. Alright, so um, what you have to do the first time in every world, you have to find your ball. Well, they make they put it right here for you in the first world, so it's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to uh, go over here, because there's actually an extra life hidden over here. Extra lives are these floating ball things. Um, Alright, so now that I did that, I want to cover some of the game mechanics of the ball. Okay, so as you probably saw when I was going over the world, you can dribble it. You can throw it. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty insane stuff, I swear. Okay, you can pinch slap the ball. And just, oh man, smack it all around. Nah, that's sick, I shouldn't say that. Um, you can transform the ball. It has four forms. The normal one, this bowling ball right here. This metal one right here, the tiny one. And then the crystal. The crystal ball is really good. Well, maybe I should explain what I'm going to do first. In every level, I'm going to collect all of these Grebe things. They're pretty much the only collectibles in the game. And um, I'm going to go over every single location in every level. Um, so this is going to work. Um, what, what the Grebes do, when you collect all of them in each section of each world, you unlock a bonus game for that world. So. Um, there's really no need for the bonus games, but I mean, if you really want 100% completion, uh, I guess the bonus games are the way to go. But uh, honestly, they're not that important to me. I'll beat a few of them. They're some of them are really hard, so I don't know if I'm going to beat them all, but I'll definitely do some of them. Uh, but e even the ones I can't beat, I will still show you and just go over basically how you do them. Even if I can't do them myself. Gosh, look at that. Um, so, I'm going to pretty much just go over that. So anyway, here we go. We're going along the level here. I already got 22 of those Garibs. Alright, so do these bull things. You can stun them if you hit them from far away. But, uh, you can kill them if you jump right on top of them. Oh, and this fist thing is A and Z. And you can also double jump. Uh, these are just some game mechanics I didn't go over before. Um, also, with the ball, you can hit the left button um, to jump on top of your ball. And you can get some extra height by uh, fist slamming the ball <laughs> uh, and going up like that. We actually have to do that to get some Garibs in the next level. But I will go over that later. So, um, okay. We're just moving along here, getting some Garibs. No big deal. Uh, okay, moving up the stairs. Alright, so these floating things are checkpoints. Uh, to, ha to use one, you have to have your ball with you. And basically, the ball just has to go through the checkpoint. So if you want, you can just throw the ball uh, through it without worrying about Glover. Alright, so we're just moving along nicely here. Ah, oh, jeez. See, th this part's really annoying right here. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take the ball over to the other side and then collect these Garibs. Actually, wait a sec. There's some secret Garibs right here that I will take care of now. So, um, all right, they're actually in this column, and to free them, oh well, okay. And to free them, you have to like knock the pillar down. But you don't actually have to knock the pillar down. Now I think about it. Really, all you need to do is. Uh, just jump high enough for them. See, look at that. No, like, I just got that one. And then there's another one at the top here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bowling ball. Anyway, I am almost out of time for this episode, so I'm just going to grab this Grieb right here. Or maybe not. I'll have to get that in the next video, I guess. Uh, oh, what? Come on. There we go. Alright, I got it. So, uh, this is Hollow Luigi. This has been my first episode of my first Let's Play of Glover. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you later.